Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars, and today I have this 1965 Fender Stratocaster in original lake plastic blue. We just had a 64 in that recently sold, which was great because they're getting really, really hard to get in the shop here. And as soon as that one left, this one took the place in the stand in the glass case. So this particular one is a 1965 compared to the last 64. This one has the transition logo, perloid dots. It was routed for humbuckers in the bridge and the neck. It was painted over those routes. Obviously unfortunate, but still the original finish. And this is a very light guitar. I don't know if it's because they dug out a little meat out of the body. I can't believe that would attribute to all of it, but it's a really cool, lightweight Lake Placid Blue strap. It does have the five way, so it's really set up for a player to just grab this thing and wail on it. The frets are really nice replacements. So you have, you know, medium tall or vintage tall, I would say. But again, just great for having a really cool custom color that is more affordable and definitely set up for a player. The amp featured in this video is a Jim Kelly line amp. It's a prototype from 2018. Jim's been building amps since the 70s and I truly put him in, you know, Dumble, train wreck category. I mean, they're their own thing. This is using a basement shell. Like I said, it's a prototype made in 2018. He auctions two amps a year by himself. The resale is crazy. They're really hard to get your hands on. This is the first line amp Jim Kelly that I've played and it totally tripped me out. I mean, it sounds like a, you know, kind of has that hi-fi element of a dumble, but has that overdrive of a train wreck. Almost the best of both worlds. Definitely its own beast. I foresee these amps going up in value an incredible amount, just as far as how limited they are, how resale has been reflecting recently. They really are all that. We have Aaron Hebert coming in today to do the demo with this 65 strap, that Jim Kelly prototype line amp. Yeah, if you have any questions, please call us. We're gonna be rolling out of quite a few videos with this amp, we're really excited about it and wanna take this opportunity to kind of show you guys how cool these are, because they do not come in often really in any shop. Guys buy them off that auction and they seem to disappear in private collections. So let's hand this over to Aaron Hebert and see how it sounds. <laughs> 